Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,246. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to, and this is Excel Magic Trick 1246, we want to see how to count with case-sensitive criteria using exact function and sum product. Now, the funny thing is, I posted a video seven years ago, all the way back, Excel Magic 181, and it was pretty similar to the formula we're going to do now, but this formula will be slightly better or more efficient. Now, this question came in, and the person first, of course, tried count if or count ifs. But of course, that's not going to properly look at case sensitive letters. There's a little w there. There's a big W there. So of course, this count ifs is not case sensitive. So it counts all of the words, including this one with all caps. As the person said, of course, this one should be given us too. Now, this person was smart. They then tried to do find. Now, find is a great function equals F-I-N-D. And you can read the screen tip. Returns the starting position of one text string, blah, blah, blah. Find is case sensitive. So that is on the right track. But now we want to look not at find, but exact. And if you read this, checks whether two text strings are exactly the same and returns a true or false. Exact is case sensitive. So there's a few functions in Excel. Find and exact are both case sensitive. Now, one problem with trying to do what we're going to do with count if is count if and other functions like count if, sum ifs, average ifs, they have trouble with array operations. So we're going to start off by looking at exact. And exact usually has one cell and another. But watch this. We're going to say, hey, exact, look at that little w, little o, r, d, comma. And please, now instead of giving it just a single cell like it's expecting, we're going to give it a whole range. Now, as soon as you put a range of values into an argument that's expecting a single item, we're doing a function argument array operation. Now, I'm going to close parentheses and highlight this and use the F9 key to evaluate and see what it exactly will do. And sure enough, function argument array operations, we gave it lots of different items here, so it spits out lots of different answers. And guess what? The true. And the true, those are the two instances where we get an exact match. Now, Control Z. If I tried to put this into count if, for example, that's a range right there. It's got a bunch of trues and falses. And then did something like true here, there's no way it's going to work. And this error message has been around forever, and it's completely unhelpful. What it should say is you're not allowed to do array operations in the range argument account if, but it's not that polite. So lots of times people struggle with that, saying, why isn't this working? Well, it's just not going to work. It can't handle it. So instead of doing that, and by the way, I need to click in this argument and hit the F4 key to lock that. Instead of using count if, we'll use sum product. Now, wait a second. I thought we were counting. Some product usually takes an array and multiple arrays, multiplies, and then adds them. Well, we're going to use the array one argument simply because it can handle array operations without any special keystroke. That's one thing that's different than this video. We use the sum function back there. Now, some product, we would expect that it could understand true as 1 and false as 0. But when I hit Enter, I'm going to get 0 because F2 some product doesn't see trues and falses. Until we do some math operation, and again, if I hit F9, if we do any math operation on Boolean values, multiply by 1, divide by 1, exponent 1, double negative, all of those will convert false to 0 and true to 1. So Control Z, I'm actually going to use double negative. That is the most efficient math operation for converting trues and falses to ones and zeros. And that's the second difference from this video seven years ago. We multiplied by one. And when I hit Control Enter, I didn't use Control Shift Enter. I just wanted to put that in the cell so I can copy it down, right? We get our proper two. If you look through here, there's one, two, and capital T, H-I-S. 
there's the one. If I were to change this, oh, this to little this, I would get a 2 because there's a this there and a this there. And if we wanted to prove that that double negative is actually doing its work, we could simply click on this array, hit F9, and sure enough, that's the resultant array filled with zeros and ones. And since there's only one array, sum product only does the sum part. It does its job. It adds 1 and 1 and gets 2. Now, I, instead of doing Control-Z, I'm going to click Escape to revert back to the formula that was in the cell before I put it in edit mode. Escape. All right, we'll see you next video.